And picking up where we left off. Dark and Ran. Omega. Hello. Mass Effect 3 Omega. Along with the queen pirate bitch of Omega. Hello. This bitch. motherfucker who's won Krogan away from being dead. <coughs> oh, look, that faceplate will bother me until the end of time. I'm just saying. Yeah, fair enough. <coughs> like, it's just shoot me here. Speaking of Krogan, Krogan! <laughs> Let's see. Where does he? The attack on the station was led by Ari, and she's on board now. Boss is heading up to investigate. Try to stay out of trouble while she's gone, and don't get caught. Our forces are tied down right now, so rescue options are limited. Don't be a dumb fuck. It's not simple enough. <coughs> but so yeah, now we're gonna start working with Nye to kick service right off the station, as mm -hmm. it should. Mm -hmm. Cerberus is backing off for now. Make sure the scouts keep an eye out for the next attack. You've done an excellent job, Nyrene, but I'll be taking over now. You know what happens to people who argue with me. And if I say no, you'll just kill me and take over? My people won't stand for that. Yes, they do seem nauseatingly loyal. Either way, I'll get what I want. Not this time. The truth is, none of us can do this alone. Our only chance is to join forces. You might be right. But the people of Omega are my priority. You take over one gang, and you think you're ready to decide what's best for Omega? I mean, watch and learn. As. Everything's in place. The entire station's connected. Hmm. Enjoy the show. Eh? People Enjoy the Omega. show, I guess. I have returned. Cerberus believes they have beaten you. They believe they have you under control. They are gravely mistaken. You are the lawless of the galaxy. You cannot be beaten, and you will never be controlled. So I'm thinking, oh, be ready. Fuck. Your chance to strike out against your oppressors is coming. Together we will take Omega back! Plan? Throw civilians at Cerberus? Anything is better than being locked up like mindless animals waiting for slaughter. I know what you're up to, Arya. And I don't like it. I have civilians to evacuate. I'll deal with this later. Alright, let's get these people ready to go. Now! What are you trying to do? Trying? The people of Omega. My people love a good street fight. When it breaks loose, they'll be ready. Nyrene's code of ethics won't let her sit by if civilians are exposed. It's what makes her utterly predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Cerberus is launching another offensive. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't like your speech, Arya. Glad I got his attention. Commander, landing pads are yours. <laughs> My people and I will hold the main doors. Got it. Have fun. Well, of course he doesn't like uh, like uh, the little speech. Makes him look bad. Hmm. Oh boy, more people dying right as you arrive. You are me surprised. I know, right? There you are. That's a grenade. I love it when he just stands on a piece of cover when I clearly want him to roll away from the grenade. And when it decides to take cover, right in... Right on the opposite side, where everyone can shoot you. Yeah.
Oh, hello. Wasn't in the plan, but it worked. Slightly less dead. Hmm. <coughs> well, at least one of them lives. Yeah, it's something. I don't think they did, though. Yeah. Of course they died. We are right. pylon from here. Hmm. <laughs> that's an idea. Don't they want a game that's so Metal, I don't know, like a game with a, I don't know, like about characters that died that become aware of what the role in the game was or something. Hmm. So you, so you have this whole group that was keenly aware that they were made specifically just and only to die in a godsend. That would suck. Yeah. But you know, like the game itself would be like after that and some kind of I don't know. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. Could be an interesting story device or whatever. You see, Shepard. Let me guess. She said I was predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Pretty much word for word. She thinks she's playing you. Nothing new here. One thing though. I maintain command over my people. This is not up for debate. Just have them ready. Oh, they'll be ready. Talk about a cat fight and waiting to happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hmm. We're almost there, Shepard. The Talons will be the frontline fodder, now we just need to bring down the force fields to clear the way to afterlife. Which will release Omega civilians. Cerberus will have a million fires to put out. In one fell swoop, we'll have the people in the Talons working for us. You might not want to compromise your alliance before it even takes shape. I've learned not to put much salt in peace and goodwill. It might be time to start again. Tell you what, I'll take it under advisement. Now, I'll be at the command console plotting our next move. At least he doesn't just tell us off. Yeah? It says about, enough about just how much the word of Commander Shepard yeah. <laughs> means in, all over the galaxy. Or at least among people who actually know Shepard. Which, you know, right now that's just about everyone. Well, just about everyone knows of Shepard, at least.
the general threw out Arya's couch from afterlife. Upon taking over, I would like to gain her favor by returning it. Temptingly, if you find it and send me the coordinates, I will make it worth your while. It's not a priority, but I'll keep my eyes open. Appreciative. Upon success, I will give you a finder's fee for your trouble. I'll let you know. Courteously, have a nice day. Maybe you look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. You know, the irony of his plan is that because of how the DLC is structured, chances are Aria will be with us when we find it. Yep. <laughs> Let's just buy all of this. I mean, yeah, we can afford it. Mm. Even all of this stuff we'll never use. I have no idea what the mercenary contracts are for. <coughs> but Maybe I they're just white assets or something? Maybe. Oh, oh, buy them anyway. Probably useful for something. Yeah. Restricted star chart. Now what? Now what could be in there? Who knows? I guess we'll find out. Maybe. Hopefully. It's gonna take a while to scroll through all of that, isn't it? <laughs> it's gonna take it a hot minute. Yeah. We still haven't found the thing he was looking for. Is that even in the journal? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Carry power inverter. I guess we're not going to be finding that. I guess. Unless it's in the next area. I don't know. We just have to pay attention, I suppose. Pretty, uh, pretty talented to never look at your terminal like that. Hmm. Oh, we did find the inverters? Oh, I guess. Yeah, we're almost done with the purchases. So if they mean anything in me, I'll leave. I guess we're we'll about to know. I don't see anything. No clue. <laughs> Let's see. Bonus damage. Ooh, chance to not use ammo. <laughs> Would be useful. Ignores 80% of an armored target's defenses. Oh my. But I can't use them though. both at the same time. Hmm. I don't know, that chance to not use ammo is pretty useful. Yeah, probably. Especially for a relatively rapid fire weapon. 30%, 22.5%. I don't think I like 30% there. 20% damage boost. 20% damage boost oh, and, cover and cover piercing. Hmm. What's well, not? We're going to equip the bayonet on that. Nah. Nah. So you don't have bayonets for days? No, do not have bayonets for days. Oh. Is that update the journal in? No. Even though I can't go talk to him. Hmm. Oh well, whatever. Weird. So what's next? Talk to me, As. I've located the source that's powering the Cerberus force fields. Yes, I think you must mess it up. Hmm. The general is siphoning power from one of my main reactors deep in the bowels of Omega's mines. Unfortunately, access is cut off by the force fields themselves. Not completely. 
There's an open route through that dark area, then up. Hmm. A processing plant for one of the mines. It's been powered down. No force fields blocking it. We infiltrate there, find our way through the mine, then take that elevator to the reactor's back door. Good eyes, Shipper. Let's go. Not without me. Aria, my patrol, caught her in the perimeter. Please. You didn't catch me. We're <laughs> allies now. Didn't Arya tell you? Nyreen was expected, Bray. Return to your station. The Talons are ready, but if I'm sending my people into the breach, I want to make sure those force fields come down for good. So like it or not, you're stuck with me. It's almost as if you don't trust me. It's exactly as if I don't trust you. We're going to war together. I'll make sure we can rely on each other. Agreed, Commander. Glad one of you isn't on a power trip. Go wait by the med bay, Nyreen. We'll join you shortly. No, nah, nonsense. We're totally on a power trip. <laughs> I'll meet you there too. My gun is my power trip. Thank you. <clears throat> well, was it? My power fantasy is being able to help everyone. <laughs> I know time is short, but I was hoping we could talk. Alone. Arya will be joining us soon. Now may be our only chance. I'm not trying to undermine Arya. I know she has to be ruthless. Let her have revenge. I'm not doing this for me, and I'm not doing it for Arya or what we once had. It's for the people of Omega. I get it. Someone has to be their voice in all this. Incredibly powerful forces are about to do battle, with them caught in the middle. I just hope, as we bring down those force fields and go to war, that you can keep the people in mind. What do you know about the Cerberus force fields? The technology comes from beyond the Omega-4 relay. Flesh disintegrates upon contact. The power required must be enormous. I fear that disrupting it can destabilize other systems on the station. I hope we'll proceed with care and certainty. Enough. How did you get mixed up with Arya? I was happy in the Turian military, but when my biotic abilities started to manifest, my superiors saw fit to reallocate me. They practically locked me away. I couldn't use my skills to benefit my people, so I quit. I floated around the galaxy, looking for a new purpose. And you found your way here? More like I lost my way here. But then there was this beautiful, fierce creature, who didn't let anyone define her. I'll admit, I was mesmerized. I wanted a little bit of that to rub off on me. I guess Turians don't really like the psionics or whatever. Uh, they're rare, so... It was the same for her. The trying to be with her turned into trying to be her. <coughs> Irene Kandros was vanishing. <coughs> it's yeah, but they... It's more of they're rare, and so they end up getting shunted into their own units. Uh, but that sounded more like she was just like, hidden away to do nothing. Pretty much. I'm grateful to Ari. She helped me remember who I am. It took a lot to break away from her. But I regret nothing. Are your people ready for the fight? You needn't worry about the Talons, Shepard. They were thieves and scoundrels once, but they serve with integrity now. We're fighting for a better world. I have to wonder if the same can be said for our sorry friend. I suppose we'll know soon enough. What's your impression of Petrovsky? An adversary worthy of respect. And not just because he's shrewd. When I was starting to organize the Talons, he offered amnesty to anyone who set down their weapon. A few of my people surrendered, and he made good on his word. So he has a code. And, as near as I can tell, it doesn't exactly match the elusive man's. <laughs> so, I mean, no he, shit. He's not a scumbag. Like the elusive man. <laughs> yeah, he just has the wrong boss. Yeah. Veteran, why are you so disturbed by these adjutants? I know fighting Reapers is old hat to you, Commander. But these... What they do to people? They could still be out there. And if they return... 
I don't want to even think about what would happen to Omega's people. The image of that drives me <coughs> and haunts me. Totally not going to be relevant anytime soon. Oh, we're heading out soon. I'll be ready. All right, let's do this. This will do this. Also, give you a better gun. Really good idea. Yeah. That's about a few points. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. This will probably come in handy. Yeah, probably. Access to the mine should be on the far side. And the reactor is beyond that? According to the schematics. I ran Omega and Irene. I didn't work the mines myself. No. You had indentured servants for that. Spirits. Relax. They're all Cerberus. It's not the problem. I don't like this. <coughs> it's like... Who they are doesn't matter. What did it to them does. Yeah. And I mean, they're cannon fodder against us, but yeah. against even. But they're clearly also cannon fodder against something else. Yeah, but and put up against say Alliance Marines, they can give it. They can dish out a curb stomp. Mm -hmm. So something else was in here, and it's just as nasty as us. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what. Yeah, I wonder what. Nah. It, like it was foreshadowed directly before that. Nah, I blame you for this. <coughs> Stop jinxing us! This is actually a section of the game I haven't played through like 20 times, so I don't remember it oh, too wow. well. More dead. It's a bloodbath. I got bad feeling. We shouldn't be. You'll be fine. An adjutant. Oh no. General must have locked this place down to keep it inside. Gee, the general prepared force fields and left exactly one pathway in. I wonder why. Technically two if you count the exit we're trying to take from this area. Mm, that's still the only way into the uh, the place with the power thing. The power plant? Yeah. Yeah, that. And the only way there is through this place. The elevator to the mines is through that door. It's deactivated. Then we need to power this place up. There should be a master circuit breaker somewhere. Well, um, power the door. We should follow them. Yes, thank you. We noticed. It's almost like they're glowing. Like red and glowing in the middle of the dark. I think we can notice them. Honestly, the atmosphere is a lot more intimidating than what I remember of the adjutants. <laughs> this is like. What to say? What you don't see is scarier. Yeah, fair enough. Especially if the game made full use of the rendered environment. It's just yeah. like, where could it be? The whispering's receding. Maybe the I mean, definitely could make a bit better use of that. But I've seen one of those things take down a squad. Of still. 
a good thing. The meowing from my cat is uh killing the mood though. <laughs> Discussing the brutality of an adjutant. There's the power control. <laughs> <coughs> oh, lights are back on. Yay! Yeah. There'll be a lot of repairs to make. I hope you'll focus on the civilian areas first. You are relentless. That's one thing we have in common. Hmm. Nothing wrong. Not so tough. Eight should make you deadlier. That looked like fear to me. All right, back to the door. She is determined to get out of the room, too. Mm. Now, of course, there won't be just one of those things, right? Of course. Dance, dance. That would be too easy. Ow. I should get out of that. Yeah, probably. Don't want you turning into an adjutant. But the fact that the body's in here, there's, there's bodies in here at all. You wonder. Yeah, why didn't they get turned? We can't let them escape. Hey, at least they're not insta kill like the Banshees. Yeah. At least shotgun works on them. Mm. Anything for a creature that can apparently that can apparently corrupt creature other people on contact. Um, this seems relatively harmless in comparison to the Banshees. What's eating you? Just processing. It's clear the general sealed that area to keep the adjutants in. Along with some unlucky soldiers. Yes. The creatures killed them, but didn't turn them into more adjutants. We can't shake it. Something's off. You're just spooked. There's a rhythm to this place, Arya. To Cerberus. If you'd stuck it out here, maybe you'd feel it too. Whatever's in our way, we'll deal with it. Correct. You can hear the drills. Damn it. They shouldn't be straining like that. Cerberus must be working them hard. Hmm. I like the little ding. Access to the reactor is somewhere hmm. on the upper level. Let's find Just a way blue up. rocks. Yay, more of 
mines. Hmm. Do you fucking mind? Clearly not. Now you're dead. Can't go through there apparently. Are you sure about that? We need to find an alternate route across. Hmm. I mean, yeah. Oh, I guess. Go all the way around because someone blew up the fucking uh, walkway. You. Yep. No turret for you. No, mate. For you. Pretty much. Like clockwork. Nice. <coughs> eh. There we go. Head up. Oh, I never guessed, Aria. Thanks. Do you think some of those lines were there for the game reviewers? What do you mean? You know, those people the... that can't be uh, tutorials? Yeah, those. <laughs> I mean, one would hope that you wouldn't need to be told which way to go in a linear game, but. I mean, this map is way less linear than the tutorial that that guy failed to beat. That's the sad part. Yes, you are taking casualties. You're one of them. They know our target. Expect heavy reinforcements. Good. Just stay focused and find the access point to the reactor. Oh, hello there. Dead. Hmm. Dead indeed. Um. I'm sorry, what? Hmm? Oh, I, I thought that was a server... Okay. Hold on. I... I... Uh, one of your companions looked just completely shadowed, so... So I thought they had full armor and I thought they, they were a server soldier <laughs> just standing on the doorway. <laughs> it's a little unstable. Just a bit. Thanks, Nai. Would have loved to know that before I was running across it. Strange. We're not being attacked anymore. Yep, you ready for any? Guys, I think this might be a trap. I think, boss, I think this might be a trap. Nah, can't be. There's no way they would lay a trap for us. Yeah, come on. 
They've only been in complete control of this area for months or something. Listen, y'all two can fuck your heart's content after we're done here. Yeah, come on, get that room. There's the reactor, straight ahead. Would have never noticed it. Yeah, it's uh. Couldn't possibly tell it's a reactor or anything. This isn't a trap or anything. Oh, that I commend you. Your plan of attack was impeccable. Looks like we were expected. More like Lord. I knew the reactor would be the hard target. I gave you no choice but this route. It's too bad you're on the elusive man's side, Petrovsky. I'm on humanity's side. You're the ones trying to start a war for the glory of Arya. But now it's over. This isn't over until your next of kin can't identify you. I love your bravado, but have the sense to know when you're beaten. You've been neutralized, and I can leave you there to rot. You might as well give up. Never! Arya, what are you thinking? I'm not going out like this. Arya, don't! <laughs> What the hell is she trying to do? She's trying to be the pirate queen bitch. So Sylvian at that too. Seriously. Is that all you can do? Throw mechs at us. Apparently. And he can't throw light people at us. He can't, they can't get in. Apparently my drone can get outside of it. Well, yeah. I mean, apparently it only affects, uh, you know, organic stuff. I mean, by that logic, I'm in full body armor. I could walk right through it. Uh, not necessarily. Kind of depends how the map works. I mean, the field works. Well, I guess they got the room. <laughs> I didn't. <clears throat> yeah. That's the pirate queen bitch, alright. Yeah. Contacts that they're fighting show up on my radar, apparently. Hmm. Shut 
yo tan de mi entendía. El body. Damn. Thing. Shut up. <laughs> nope. What are y'all shooting at, huh? Ding! Hey, buddy. Where do you think you're going? This is pretty bad coverage, just letting you know. Indeed. Alright. Totally not making fun of the other classes. <laughs> is this class literally the only one yes. who can do that? That is the this is the only way you can do that. This is the only class specific interrupt. That's amazing. Krogan. Oh no, Krogan. <laughs> yep. <coughs> so be it. All units, battle stations, prepare for attack. Get the demolition crews into position. Prepare for attack? You mean for defend? I don't think you're going to be attacking anything anytime soon. skill to bear and accomplish the task without sacrificing lives. I applaud you. Shepard remains cool under pressure. Mind clear, shit together. Take a good, hard look. That's what fearlessness looks like. What are you driving at, Arya? You fought bravely against those mechs in there, Naimi. Very impressive. But? Why can't you bring that same grit when adjutants attack? It's pathetic. You... Tense up at the mere mention of those abominations. Lay off. She just saved you. I'm trying to help her, Shepard. Call it tough love. The war's starting. I don't mean to miss it. She's never been big on thank yous. <laughs> of course hmm. not. She's Arya. Yeah. The Pirate Queen Beach. <laughs> That's just gonna be the title of the video, isn't it? Maybe. I don't know. I haven't got that far in my life. Getting reports. All force fields down. Civilians taking to the streets in droves. Cerberus pulling back. That won't last. The people don't have the training to go up against Cerberus front lines. They'll be wiped out. Civilian casualties can't be avoided. You'll have to accept this. Say what you will, Arya. I won't allow senseless deaths. Do what you can to protect them. Of course, Commander. Report. The team is scouting the maintenance tunnels. We encountered Cerberus forces escorting engineers. They're moving gear. Look to be sending explosives to the station's central support columns. Ray, engage. Delay them as long as you can. We're coming. Got it. Roll out, people. If they detonate the main that doesn't sound well. cut off the way to afterlife, the Talon offensive will be stopped cold. So we split up. Yes. Nyreen, lead the frontal assault. Shepard and I will meet you in the markets after we've taken care of those bombs. Of course. But don't count on me building your memorials if you get yourselves killed. I like it when you're feisty. <laughs> <laughs>
only route to the central column is through the tunnels. And I'm good. Out of my way. Hey, you actually hit. At this distance. Hold still. <laughs> I don't like it when my prey moves. Ow. Okay, now that's just insulting. Do you also not like it when your prey kills you? No, I don't like it when my prey fights back. Okay, I actually kind of do like it when they fight back. Makes it more fun. <laughs> Shut down imminent indeed. I think their melee attack is stronger than yours. Mm, I'd say they're about equivalent. Yeah. Perhaps. But hey, for a change you didn't actually insta-kill it with a uh, melee attack, so... And then Arya just says no. Yeah, that was quite the biotic power. I mean, she's an Asari matriarch. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's easy to forget that. But, yeah, I'm just going to casually biotic nuke you. Out of the way, are you? Huh? Oh, hi there. Yeah, we're definitely starting to get multiple enemies that can take your melee. Well, Centurions are shields. Yeah. They've been around since, you know, like... The first game, first fight. And mechs are... Uh, well, they're just off, I guess. The mechs have pure armor. Yeah. Which you would think the engineer-specific punch would be good, I guess, but whatever. Mm, not really. The class just determines which uh, heavy melee Animation. Yeah, what? It's like I think the uh, the soldiers is just the Omni Blade. I think the Vanguards is double Omni Blade cro uh, in a cross slice. Hmm. Uh, Adept or one of the biotic classes just. That's not the button. <laughs> Adept or one of the other biotic classes just fucking biotic high fives their face. Fun. Central support, that looks like where we need to go. Yeah. This is a pretty long mission, isn't it? There's actually separate missions. There's just no breaking between them. Uh, it's gonna be a long video, isn't it? Maybe. So oh well. This looks valuable. Also, you gotta love his guts. He sees his buddy over here just staggering back and getting lit up through his shield. And what does he do? Stand his ground. She's like, the shield is I don't nothing. think that's good as much as by the recognition the levels of SAO are pitched. <laughs> okay, it's totally going to be fine if he does it. Sounds like Arya just nuked something. Sure does. Meanwhile, I can't seem to stop connecting to every single piece of cover in the room. <laughs> yeah, I don't particularly like the way Mass Effect does cover, personally. Got 
bombs just went off. The console is locked. We'll have to manually disable them. Not gonna make it easy, are they? Take care of the bomb, Shepard. I'll hand it Of course not. Easy. It wouldn't be interesting. I think you'll be fine. Maybe. Probably. Oh, no. You only have four minutes left to disable one bomb. Yay! I think we're clear. Yes! You're so leveled up! Nice. Over here. Level up! We're clear. Good. Nyree, things are under control what? here. What's your situation? Move forward. Keep that flank covered. Yes, boss. We're holding our own, but Cerberus has started targeting the civilians. Reports of casualties are coming in from all sectors. Save those you can, and head for the rendezvous point. We'll meet you there. We'll do what we can. Nyreen out. So how exactly do we get to Afterlife from here? I'm thinking the straightforward approach for a change. <laughs> so. That's one way to do it. It works. Oh, she actually just outright broke one of the blades. Yeah, she jammed a damn thing. No, like, you could see one of the blades was stuck under the other one, but, like, actually broken. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Either way, it has like, the same effect. Yeah, I just found it impressive that you can literally see the damage she did. Yeah, a bit like, of damage. <clears throat> I mean, they could have been lazy and just, like, removed one of the blades from the model or something. <laughs> it could, you know, could be the top. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Whoa, that's combat. Yo. Let me guess. Adjutants. Adjutants. Well, that's pleasant. Good to know yeah. they're in places they shouldn't be. It's almost like we powered up and, the, and opened up the place where they were sealed. I mean... Looks like they bit off more than they could chew. We should get a move on. Uh, Nyrene did say she was sealing it behind us. Yeah, but did we seal the other direction? I think I figured out where the adjutant came from. Yeah. With the civilian population contained, we should be ready to initiate the next phase of the project on schedule. Before 
post-conversion, we should begin the process of fusing the control implants to the subject's nervous systems. With the current success ratio, we project being able to surpass demand by 300%. Uh, the first generation adjutants have been transferred from the containment area and are being outfitted with the implants. The previous batches have been processed and moved to the storage area. We can now control when and where the adjutants convert their victims. Initial testing on various species provides ample proof the virus can adapt flawlessly, regardless of the host used. With the civilian population contained, we should be ready to initiate the okay, next so. phase of the four host conversion. With the current success ratio, yeah. we project being able to surpass them. That's not good. We're experimenting on adjutants. That explains the ones we saw earlier. Yeah, they were totally able to control them. Test adjutants yeah. have escaped. They are to be rounded up and transferred to Central like each holding area post haste. Dan should be avoided at all costs. Doors oh. unlocked. Let's get out of here. That doorway leads to the Gozu district. Yeah, but where's the adjutant? Good question. Every time. Yep. Grenade! Get down! Jesus! You should probably heal. Uh oh. I should probably move. That's all. Move! Nope. Whip. <sighs> Sure. Look out! Ow! Okay, never mind, I'm not going through that door yet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're in better cover right there, anyway. Who fucks that sniper? There she is. She dead? I think so. Yay! Oh, I didn't even realize you could have just delayed the Atlas landing. <laughs> yeah, well, neither did I. Now we know, I guess. Yes, much more smoothly that time. Yep. Anything up here? A door. Doors are useful. Money. That's also useful. We did you spend quite a bit after all? Yeah. Quite a bit. Alright, let's keep going. This looks familiar. I liked it better when Morden Solis was here shooting up looters. Morden is dead. Pity. He was a very practical kind of Solarian. Hmm. So this is the same district that uh, we found Morgan yep. in. Which yeah. makes sense because it was right next to Afterlife. Mm -hmm. But this is where all the plague stuff happened. Yeah. Looks a bit different now. Yeah. It's a bit crashed. Now, 
Now instead of shooting up looters, I'm shooting up Cerberus. That's good. Well, instead of more than shooting up looters, it's me shooting up Cerberus. What a change. <clears throat> no shit. Buddy, I don't think your shotgun's gonna be much use at this distance. Look, a shotgun is just a wide area sniper rifle. What's going to happen to us? Uh, well, either you're gonna die or you're gonna live. There's really not much to think about there. Um. Does some deadness count? Let's not think about it. Is that guy still alive? He is. Okay, I'm back. I guess my internet just lagged for a moment. Ah. Is this motherfucker still alive? <sighs> of all people to survive, him. Good people always die early, and bad people have a, a way to just keep on sticking around. Can't we, you know, tell her, hey, by the way, there's adjutants still around. Yeah. It's going ahead. We've got our hands full holding this area. She's going on to afterlife. That's not a good one. I think she's so upset. Yeah, you think? Mm hmm. Enough. She oh, totally yeah. didn't care about her or anything. Chill pill, Arya. Take one. You know, we never found her couch. Why did you mention it? It's a shame she had to die for your petty ambitions. You're a dead man. No, wait. Really? What now, Petrovsky? Divide and conquer, Commander. Kandros killed the adjutants we hadn't finished experimenting on. These are fully under our control. 
the prototypes for our future army. Hey Pedrovsky, you realize that ordering your soldiers like that basically is just telling us, us what to do, right? Shit, shit, shit. And die. I've heard it's sad for you. No kidding. Mm hmm. Heal, damn it. Not good. Out of the way! Oh god, that hurts. Okay, get some distance. That out of my way. Now that I don't have like three fucking adjutants on top of me. Aria's health is just going down. I didn't notice that. Oh shit. Yeah, you should probably hurry. <sighs> Out of my way! That's an adjutant. That's just a bad time to be out of ammo. Yep. Oof. Roll. Oh, the other one got me. Yep. Not an easy fight. So I see. So telling us what to do. At least Arya is a little helpful when we were at least one of the locks. Ow. Is he dead yet? No. It is now. Oh, there's a third one. So they can dodge fireball. That sucks. Hmm. <coughs> oh my god, stop taking cover! On the one hand, it's a lot harder to fight it over here. On the other hand, I also have constant shields over here. Okay, that one's dead. Buys me a couple seconds. Oh yeah, you have someone's. That could be useful. What do you think I'm deploying them for? Adjutant! Get off cover, get off cover! Shepard be like, I could hit the button, or I could hug this wall really tight. 
try. Hey, Arya, please pull your weight in this fight. So much money to get. I've used more Medigel on this DLC than I have in the rest of the game. Pretty much, yeah. Which I guess is kinda how DLC works. Uh, hello. Goodbye. I don't remember it being this hard. Quite a few apparently. There's still an adjutant alive up some town. Yeah, there's one over there. Well, he knows when to stand down. Cease and desist all aggression. It's over. Commander Shepard, I surrender myself into your custody. That is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. Shepard, I'm unarmed. And I can give the Alliance intel on the elusive man. Grand, what do you You'll think? Say anything to save your skin. I'll let you escape, Omega. Ran? I deserve it. Um. I think we can help him. Cerberus had successfully taken the station and he let me go. Do you feel that, Oleg? That's death. Only inches away. Spare him. Yeah. He's actually on our level, so. I thought we actually had we actually had to choose. Take him, Shepard. You and your alliance can decide his fate. Just get this filth off my station. Commander. Glad to see you've had a calming effect on Ms. Tilok. I tried <coughs> talking sense into her one time. I look forward to hearing how you pulled it off. Don't assume you know where this is going. What? From what I understand, high-ranking Alliance POWs lead fairly comfortable shoot him. lives. Who knows? You and I may even Good. become friends. But we won't. That's not happening. Bray, get him out of here. around with you for a few hours and I go all soft. You're like a disease. <laughs> this victory came at a cost, Aria. It's not soft to recognize that. You sound like someone trying to sell something. I admire your tenacity. And thanks to you, I have Omega back. So what's your plan? There's a lot to rebuild. Starting with this command center. It may take some time to remove the general stink from my throne. Eh, you'll you'll figure, figure it out. The pole dancing in here again. <laughs> the citizens of Omega have been through a lot, Arya. Try to remember that. How can I forget? There are reminders everywhere I look. And don't worry. I'll honor our arrangement. Troops, ships, and a mountain of Izo. 
You earned it. Then I'll be going. Bray will take you back. I have a station to whip into shape. Citizens of Omega, hear me. I, Arya Tanok, have given you back your lives. My rule is reignited. My hand is on the controls once more, and I will not let go again. Each of you owes a debt. Gain my favor by rounding up the remaining Cerberus invaders and... And we will cast them from our home. Then bury and mourn our dead. My methods haven't always been popular, and I can't promise that will change. But securing this station and everyone inside it is now my primary purpose. No one will imprison us again. We may be bruised. We may be bloodied. We are Omega. You always get these crap details, Bray? No, not this time. You got a galaxy to save. Let's get you up this rock. <laughs> oh, that guy's having a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was a thing. <coughs> Allied Victory, the Battle of Omega. Journal updated. Probably several of those, and probably several war assets. Hmm. Yeah. Talon Mercenary Saboteur. Battle for Omega. Omega Resistance. Terminus fleet, Terminus irregulars, the Omega insurgency. Mm. Oh boy! Are these out of it? From Liera and from Maria. Yep, Hourglass Nebula. <coughs> Shepard, my latest information shows that the Hourglass Nebula has come under Reaper attack. I still have a large amount of support staff currently stationed on a facility in Alingan. They are vital to my operations and have been assisting with collecting, da collecting data for the Crucible and providing logistics. The planet has severe magnetic storms that will help mask their location for the Reapers, but that won't hide them for the Reapers for very long. With the amount of sensitive data and the assistance we provide, we, ne uh, we need to get them out of there as soon as possible. Yeah, that's kind of important. Because we can look into it. A memento. Shepard, I have Petrovsky's chessboard sent to the Normandy. It just doesn't go with the new decor I have planned for afterlife. Fair <laughs> enough. Alright, I'm okay with that. From Lee Riley. My squad continues to defend the fuel reactor on Sion. The Reapers seem intent on taking it down. Not on my watch. We'll hold the line. Yay. Didn't know she's still in the fight. From the Admiralty Board. From Shalaran Vasranok. With assistance from the Geth, our fleet is nearly back to full strength. We have focused most of our e efforts on providing evacuation assistance and support for the Turian fleet, while the Geth harass the Reapers. Even with our newfound peace, it seems foolish to risk an incident by putting our for forces in closer proximity. I understand Admiral Zin from Admiral Zin that the Crucible project continues well, though Zin herself seems dissatisfied with the technological capabilities of the device. Though eccentric, she is also brilliant. Hopefully she will find some way to improve its functionality. I would have never believed you, you would talk Han down, Commander. Take care of Tali Zora for me. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. And a message from Bray. <coughs> Things are settling down on Omega. Looks like the that Talons are... <coughs> Looks like the Talons are a new security force on the station. Their leader said something about honoring Kandross's memory. I'd say they were being cute, except they're not shy about backing up the sentiment with firepower. Arya's decided to allow Normandy access to the station. You ever decide to swing by and enjoy the comforts of Omega? Just ship through. 
No other Alliance ship is permitted to dock. Be careful out there. No, there's at least one Batarian here that doesn't want you want you dead. Huh. Fair enough. He knows what's up. Yeah. Let's take a look, speaking of which. Terminus systems. Terminus fleet. Many Terminus ships are destroyed or damaged by Omega's defenses. Can't do much about that. The Omega raiding fleet. Yeah, loss of ship fleet there. Raids by Terminus Merc groups to draw Cerberus away from Omega were successful but costly in personnel. So they all got so they all got a bit weakened by that. Yeah, but still. We actually have them now, so exactly, but, but on the other hand, the Omega Ezo <laughs> reward. Like the fact that the sheer amount of money alone is worth that much. Mm. Yeah. Well, I guess it's more a special resource than a, than money directly, but still. <laughs> yeah, it's still useful to have. Like, it's not a company or a group or anything, no, it's literally just a pile of loot. I mean, it mentions a new, uh... Um... A new company founded specifically just to transport the, uh... Ezo. I mean, fair enough, but still, it's, uh... <laughs> Yasari Second Fleet. When we pass that Reaper Code fragment to them. General Petrovsky. Being interrogated at an undisclosed location. Due to the nature of his work on Omega, the interrogation and debriefing teams being led by both military and science experts to ensure the veracity of Petrovsky's information. The location of an important Cerberus laboratory has already been provided by the prisoner and has since been destroyed. Alliance officials believe Petrovsky can still provide substantial critical information on Cerberus activities and are likely to approve the asylum procedures that have been started by the Alliance legal aid assigned to Petrovsky's case. Hmm. I'm guessing if we had uh, continued to you know, nurture Arya's uh, ruthless nature instead of going Paragon for some stuff, she probably would have just killed him outright. Probably. Or we could have just shot him in the head. Yeah. That would have been kind of amazing. It's like Talon mercenaries have a two Convince Arya to spare him. And it's for us. Pow. I think you. <laughs> That would be kind of a dick move, too. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure which update there is here. It must be the chemical burn one. Yes. So many updates on a lot of these. Yeah, well, it's a long game. Yeah, and there's plenty of things to add to the pile. Mm-hmm. Whew, boy. Well, that's one DLC down. Yeah. Another to go. Look at it. Mm-hmm. We can start tackling that one next time, I reckon. Yep. Bye-bye.